Hey, Alex. Hey, Daryl. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Hey, thanks for having me out. So this is it. This is it. This is the PLI. The NASA Portable Lightning Instrumentation. I see it right here. You're going to take it up there all the way to where the top of the rocket is? Yeah, right, right around where the payload fairing is. Level five. All right. That's where we're going. Well, you need a hand? Yeah, come help us. Now that we're inside the VIF and we're about 13 stories up, tell me a little bit about this box. You've got some, looks like some sensors here. That's right. So we got the current probe, which is over near the rocket, and we have three more sensors over here. This one is an electric field sensor. This one up here is a magnetic field sensor. And this little one over here, that's a GPS antenna. That's how we, we get it, make sure our data stays uh, synchronized in time so that we can correlate that data to all the other lightning detection networks in the area. So what happens if there's a lightning strike somewhere nearby? What does this do? So if it's close enough to cause any uh, interference in this area, these field sensors will pick it up first and they'll cause the entire system to take a snapshot of that data and record it. And how is that helpful? We'll know what the peak of it was, we'll know how long the transient lasted, we'll be able to calculate how much energy traveled through there, we'll have a lot more information to work on. Small box, big rocket, but it's got a big role in the whole scheme of things. It's got a big job, that's for sure. So we can see those lightning towers out there, that's and ULA right. tells me that that protects the rocket when the lightning strikes so why do we need the PLI? Yeah, so this system over here, uh, we call that the lightning protection system. That's designed to protect it from a direct lightning strike. That means the, the lightning is attaching directly to the rocket. And we're concerned about, you know, a lightning strike out there in the ocean, maybe just a mile away. And the energy in a lightning strike is so intense, it creates these very powerful magnetic and electric fields. And those are the things we're concerned about because that magnetic field can come through and couple into the umbilical cable. It's a huge loop, it makes a big old loop, and that's the current we're looking for with the PLI. Has the PLI ever prevented a long launch delay for a previous mission? Mars 2020 was where the data from the PLI gave the spacecraft team the confidence to go ahead and launch. So there was a lightning strike around the Mars Perseverance rocket. That's rover, right. And you saw it? And we gathered that data, yep. And it launched on time. It did. And it's up there now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. On Mars. That's right.